नमो तस् भगवत अरहत संभासबुद्धस नमो तस् भगवत अरहत संभासबुद्धस नमो तस् भगवत अरहत संभासबुद्धस बुद्धंग दम संग नमसा वसा ने वसा उपगंत दीदी हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम वेनरेबल पदे तला मेधावी फ्रॉम बोलंका तपवार पश्चाल इन श्रीलंका We established this monastery in 2019, and uh, now we have came along with many many experience. And every time when we do dhamma talks or do some retreats we all we always talk about practicing about mindfulness that is the main base of our monastery and uh, for talk about that matter i always trying to find the examples what i had in my 15 years of experience sometimes in sri lanka sometimes in overseas too most importantly now we are in the couple of modern world kind of modern world people are usually try to talk about mindfulness and how to practicing it but what i am seeing is most of the time they only talk about how to do it in the sitting posture or in the walking meditation path but according to the buddha teaching in mahasati patana sutta in diganikaya it leads us to change our life forever and uh, that effect not only while we are meditating in the sitting posture or do the walking meditation is the walking path but always in the normal life as we everyone do in day to day life so in bolankanta tapavarana we always trying to find the proper solutions for the day to day difficulties and problems and uh, we most importantly trying to teach people how to do it while meditating as well as in normal life too so that's how we try to gain our achievements i guess and uh, as experience i have came up with very good uh, retreats and i finished couple of very good dhamma retreats and meditation sessions and uh, 
many of the people are already have that feelings about what is really dhamma is and uh, not only that i wanted to say actually n- i am not only the one who doing this but most of the maybe couple of other dhamma teachers also doing very good job according to this plan but most of the time what i am seeing is and uh, many of the my people also my my friends i could say also says many of the meditations are what they feelings many of the meditations are every time effect while they meditate but not only the not only in the life in the normal life or day to day life so that's what we are trying to figure out and how to how to gain or how to find the proper solutions for our day to day problems that is the one of a main theme and main idea i came up with to do the retreats in english and uh, i wanted to say english isn't my first language and uh, i don't know this is the second either but i trying to do by my best and i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say and uh, i'm kindly inviting you all try to believe or try to understand what i trying to say and uh, please practice at least at least a little bit per day it will help you to calm down your body or mind and uh, that will lead you to be out of your sufferings okay that's what the main goal in this what season was means in pali rain season so in this rain season we are trying to do little bit of new idea which is doing the sermons in english and uh, luckily we do the same topic and the same most of the same talk in singhala too so if you are familiar with singhala language so welcome to will come to watch them too and maybe you can get more idea with this thing as well in the meantime i want to invite you all to join with us and uh, we always happy to see your feedback and comments and if you have any suggestions or the ideas maybe it can be good or bad but either way is fine and uh, we always welcome you to make any comments on us okay so <clears throat> in this life i I have came 40 years old right now as experience the life is not always like I wanted or we wanted right sometimes that can be very difficult it can be very difficult sometimes we think it is difficult but it is not though and uh, 
many of the time we trying to find our way or who we are by asking other people how they think about us which means most of the time what we are trying to do is we don't really understand who we are or who i am capable of or who or what is my biggest failure or what i am re- really capable of but most of the time and generally people are trying to find those answer for the those questions from other people from other side from our sources because of this reason people because of this this reason my friends people are more inclined towards to outside but not inside i mean people are not satisfied with what they have right now but they are always satisfying what they people believe about us what they people says about us so this is a very tricky point because when people are happy about us if anything when people are happy about us if we do anything so then they then we happy but when we do anything or if people are not happy about it so we don't happy that is the one of a very biggest wrong idea i think we have in our life and buddha told us yata lab santuti in pali which means uh, you should try to be happy what you have already right now you should try to be happy or you should try to understand what you always have right now so most of the time people don't think in this way rather they listening to the others and uh, when people says or when people believes about us in some some levels then we trying to believe ourselves that is who i am and uh, what i wanted to say is this is wrong we should try to understand who we are first of all and uh, we should try to understand that i have a good qualities too maybe i have bad too but anyway i do the good things as well as a human being we can smile and we can talk perhaps we can help so those are the good things but most of the time what our inside head or the mind always is saying always saying mostly the wrong things it is because we already trap in this situation we already familiar with those kind of thoughts to to remembering or repeating inside our head always so first of all what we are need to do is you should understand that you are doing something and uh, that is what you are doing 
so this kind of idea we can see or these kind of things we can see if we try to remembering or reflecting our past maybe in a day or before the sleep maybe you can reflect about your day how it goes then you can see or understand what you have done maybe in a good way maybe in a bad way then you will understand so this is good or this is okay or this is wrong or this is bad like that i don't say that you don't don't need a second second opinions that that's not what i mean but you don't want to, to you or you don't have to make second opinions always as your first first opinion that's what i'm trying to say so if you try to understand about yourself you will see that you have good qualities and bad qualities too so that can lead you to make little bit happier than before little bit happier than before second of all we can say okay now you know how you are or who you are or what your goal is which is good because before you didn't had that you don't know what you should do or what is your goal is but now you do but you when but when you trying to achieve or reach that goal or try to gain that goal but it always make difficult and this is normal for everybody in this world sometimes poor people can think richest people are more happy but if you have met a rich people they always saying we were happy when we are poor because life is more simple at that time this is like uh, it always this is not okay but that is this kind of idea we always trying to keep in our head and uh, repeating it mostly and uh, most of the time we trying to do our things based on those ideas which is this is not okay but that is okay or what i'm doing is wrong but if i can do the other things it oh, then i will be okay something like that but you can find your goal and uh, sometimes it can be difficult too but my dear friends if i do remember correctly gautama buddha before he become enlightened because before he become buddha he has failure he has failed lot of times not only one or two but many at least uh, just before he become a buddha always he always fail he always fail but what he did was he every time he try to remember what he wanted to do and uh, what he did was he try to understand uh, i had a goal and i try to do i try to reach that goal through this way but that that doesn't work so then what he did was he tried to find his goal from the other directions from the other direction but normally or generally people like you and me mostly what we are do, trying to do is we sometimes see our goal and uh, we try to find it 
maybe try so hard as much as much as we possible then we fail anyway most of the time unfortunately then we forget about our goal and we start to something another goal or another idea or we try to change our life but if he if buddha does before he become enlightened the same thing what we try to what i am trying to talk about you if he if he forget about his goal i don't think today i can talk about it i don't think it but what buddha as a bodhisattva what he did was he always remembered his goal and uh, he try to find another way to reach that goal that is what we need to learn that is what we need to learn but always saying noble eight four path is the is the only way to become happiness or to become a happiest people a happiest person to yourself and to the others too so in this rain season i would like to you to invite try to find a new goal maybe it can be like this for example i will be i will talk friendly for everybody that is the goal okay that is the goal then we can try to do it and they will we, we can fail and we will believe me we will and you will but don't don't let go of the goal don't let go of that goal try to find another way try to find another words or another effort or from the other directions to reach that goal then you will then you will can you will win or you can win our goal isn't the problem actually the problem is the real problem is how we reach it how we reach it so i would like to invite you all to become new or more happier person in this rain season to do that try to find a new goal maybe do some little bit of more meditation sessions more walking meditation sessions more sitting sessions okay or reading reading dhamma books or doing donations as much as you can oh like i said before try to speak friendly try to work friendly or calmly try to think friendly try to think calmly those can be your goal in this first season or in this rain season try to find it try to reach that goal and tell us how you practicing it and uh, what are the difficulties maybe i will be give the answers i can able to give the answers yeah and uh, this is not talking about me this is not talking about only about you but this is talking about us this is how we are trying to change our life from the suffering we trying to understand our suffering and uh, based on those things 
we are trying to f find our new goal and reach it little by little if we try to if we can try to find this in this way maybe in one direction if it not worked maybe we can try it from the other direction that's called plan B right yeah it's okay maybe you can have up to plan maybe Z too it's okay it's okay you just try to be the best version of yours thank you for listening see you next time